everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Siobhan if you're new here welcome so today is a get ready with me and chat video and lots to talk about today and with a focus on life and our perspective in life and how it can affect us on a daily basis so this morning I am getting ready for work I'm getting the kids ready my daughter is carrying lunch so this is her thermos and she's going to have leftover baked ZD. So I warm up the thermos by adding hot water and I just keep it closed for about 7 to 10 minutes. And that usually takes care of the temperature of the thermos. It actually kind of heats it up. Then I add the baked ZD inside which is going to be hot because you have to warm it up and it stays warm. She gets lunch around 10.30 and it's always warm during that time. So this is a good option for even the office. It's not just for kids going to school. This is something that you can use when you're going to school. I got this thermos from Target. It's the Thermos, thermos brand and we've been using it for a few years now and it's been going good. So for breakfast, I did not want to cook today some mornings i do give the kids on an option so they can either have a bagel with cream cheese or bagel with butter bagel with avocado um, french toast waffles cereal with milk croissant or fruit i give them an option to kind of make that decision and pick out something to eat i'm there to offer guidance and to help them out but the cooking i just was not in the mood today so my daughter gets her lunch along with a couple snacks. She loves these tangerines. So I give her like one or two because I think she likes to feed the school. So that's that. <laughs> While the kids are busy eating their breakfast, I took some time to kind of straighten up my desk. My daughter came in to borrow something and went back to eating her breakfast. So I did a lot of relaxing yesterday was Mother's Day and I have a lot a lot of junky stuff on my desk. Lots of stickers because I've been organizing my stickers into two albums so I can have an album to carry around with me throughout the summer. So that's the reason why all the stickers are everywhere. I haven't I'm not done. That's gonna be an activity I may do after work. Something common and relaxing. That's what I want to do after work. Maybe. I am doing something common and relaxing this morning. Which I try to do every day before I start work. If it's journaling. If it's just planning. Just something to relax me in the morning. I try to do that daily. What I also encourage is for her to help with her snacks. And kind of take some responsibilities in that area. Even though I love packing their lunch, well, her lunch, because my son doesn't want to carry lunch anymore, I do want her to have some sort of independence and be self-sufficient just in case I'm not able to make her lunch or pack her snacks for school. I have let them try a variety of snacks. I don't really limit them. I just always encourage that they have that she has a fruit, either orange, an apple, or sometimes she'll take cucumber salad, which is her favorite, is just chopped cucumbers, a little bit of red onion, avocado, lime juice, salt and pepper, and that's something that she loves. And I made that at home for her by adding avocados at home. You can't take the avocados to school because they will get brown by the time it's lunchtime. So this is the morning, she's ready for school, and she was a bit early today. And I just took advantage of the relaxing time in the morning. She had French toast along with my son. I gave them an option of French toast cereal. They even had an option for oatmeal. But it's whatever they wanted this morning. And I, I was okay with that. So this is a clip of how the thermos works. You add your warm food inside. You seal it up. I then... Usually I'll sprinkle Parmesan cheese and a little parsley on top, but I was out of um, Parmesan cheese. So that's her lunch for today. Always include a, a napkin and a fork so she can have that. The next thing I did was I opened up all the blinds and I watered the flowers 
the plants in the living room. So I do the watering once, at least once a week for the house plants. I don't overwater. I do have a moisture meter, which I purchased from Amazon. If you don't have one, it's good to have if you're not sure of how often to water a plant in your house. You can always see how moist the soil is, which can help you and stop you from overwatering and also make sure you're watering enough. So even doing something like this in the morning is common for me. It, I would say it adds more value to my life. A lot of times we look for things to make our life feel valuable and we look for big things. We don't focus on the little things that we can do on a daily basis. That kind of helps us through make and make life a little bit more meaningful and more fun. Just me cleaning off my desk, I love that. I'm also going to do a little bit of journaling before I start work. This is the, the current journal I use. It's actually the, a memory planner. I'm using it for memory planning and I'm going to memory plan, print some pictures of my daughter at her first dance and my Mother's Day. And I have a ticket, a, a slip from when I took my son to the movies on Saturday. So things like this for me is, I think it's fun. I like doing it. I know people may feel like this is boring. I've gotten comments on Instagram that my life is boring. But, you know, everyone have their own opinion of what fun is. Some people's fun is jumping out of a, a an airplane and sky, bungee jumping, things like that. Roller coasters. I can't go on a roller coaster so I find other things in life that I can do that are fun to me and that's what a lot of people don't realize that fun is different for everyone and enjoyment and just life overall is different for everyone so you have to kind of focus on what you like and some and doing something that will make you happy instead of looking at what other people are doing and based in happiness on what their actions are because that's not the case. I did start to feel a little dizzy this morning. Partially, well, I'm not even saying partially, but it's probably due to my blood pressure dropping from the medication. It's just something that I go through from time to time. So I just looked over my planner and see what I needed to add or just kind of get an idea of how my day was. I was testing out these two notebooks that I have. One I purchased from Goods for the Study in the City, and the other one is a bullet journal. And it's the Lloydstrom, I can't even say it, that collab. It's actual bullet journal notebook. Neither fits good. I cannot find like the perfect fit notebook for the A5 de the desk agenda. So the best option if you have this is to get a B5 size notebook and cut it down so that it can fit exact. I like my notebook to feel to fit flush like this one, but this is how the bullet journal looks inside. It really does not look good. So much wasted space and I'm just not a fan of that. Took my daughter to the bus and we usually hug and kiss each other in the morning before she goes to school. When I got back inside, I poured myself some tea. I made passion tea and I did a little bit of email, early email. This is something that I do that kind of sets my day. So I start early in the morning. Sometimes I'm still laying in bed on my phone where I go through all of my emails and put aside the ones that I need to work on and then I delete what needs to be deleted. So another thing that I did before I started working was I put some orange peels in my garden. These are dried orange peels that I had when I made myself orange juice. I love fresh squeezed orange juice. So I saved the orange peels and I put them in the garden because they are very helpful with the nutrients that the soil needs. They break down over time. It's chemical free. It's it's beneficial for your garden. I just kind of just plant them around the, the plants that are already there and also just in the dirt. I'm not done with gardening. Obviously, it's pretty empty. I do have some plants inside that need to come out. But the weather here in New York has been really 
I don't know where spring is, and some of my plants are frost sensitive, so I, I'm a little bit nervous for taking them outside. Even though it's May, everything should have been in the ground, but we just you just can't make this up. This weather is just has a mind of its own. So I just kind of did the same for all of the beds, just going around and just making sure that they have some of the orange peels. This is the second time that I'm doing this since the spring started. I'm not sure if I'll do it again. Maybe in the direct dirt on the ground when I plant my tomatoes and peppers. But other than that, this is enough for today. And this is also something that I did for myself that made me feel good. And it just makes life a little bit more fun for me. I like to write a lot of things down about life and perspective and just how we can change our focus in life to to have better days because a lot of times we go through things and when things don't work out or things don't fall in place it puts us in bad spaces but for me just understanding that things don't always work out or fall in place it's just a part of life a lot of people don't talk about the fact that you know, things may not happen how you want it to. Is It is just a part of life. We're lucky to have what we have, but we're not always dealt the hand that we, we really want. Sometimes it's just a part of life and there's nothing we can do about it. But that shouldn't stop you from enjoying life and try to live life the best you can. Enjoying the little things like me making my water. This is just water with lemon, orange slices, and strawberries that I keep on my desk throughout the day so I don't have to get up to refill my cup too often you know how simple is that and for me this is just something that I do to enjoy life a little bit more this was my outfit for the day I'm wearing my I'm organized when I'm in the mood to be sweatshirt you can find that you'll see the sweatshirts below if you click on it and it will take you to where I have my merch where you can shop and another thing with life and perspective is mindset. I'm not going to tell you to have a positive mindset all the time because that's not realistic. I don't always have a positive mindset, but for the most part I do because there are a lot of things that are not within my control and there's just nothing I can do about it. So I want to I want to have a happy life. I want to do things that I love. I want to enjoy life. I want to enjoy the day. And I don't want to be miserable, sad, or down, or depressed all the time. I say all the time because it's literally you can be like that all the time or occasionally. Occasionally is nothing wrong with that. You bounce back and then you can continue to enjoy and live life. So my mindset with life and even going through things that I go through is I get to see another day. I'm able to go to work, I'm able to walk, I'm able to write, I can see. I just think of the little things that I, that I have that I'm blessed with and it just makes me a little bit more grateful for, for life itself. And I feel like these little, this thing, training yourself to have a positive mindset really makes a difference in how you live your life and how happy you live. After my makeup, I printed out the pictures of my daughter and my mother's day that I wanted to include in my memory planning for today. I use my HP Sprocket, which is very old. You can find them on Amazon. And I also use the Sprocket paper. It doesn't require ink if you're new to the Sprocket. You just keep buying the photo paper and you print your pictures. I don't know how long it's going to last, but I've had it for like maybe four years now. It's still going good and there are updates where you can have it just like you can update your phone. You can also update your sprocket. So the next thing I did for the morning was making sure that I take my meds. I it's just not an it's not an option. It's literally is what's keeping me alive longer and is helping my heart to become it may not be getting stronger, but it's just maintaining it and it's given me a longer outcome. So I take my meds in the morning and in the night, clockwork, and I drink a lot of water throughout the day because when I'm hydrated, I feel better. I don't feel as 
fatigue and I have less headaches. So I, for my perfume today, I'm using my Jo Malone Peony and Blush. It's my one of my favorite Jo Malone scents. Along with the lotion, I'm using the, the cream. And I'm just lotioning my hands and my neck and my ashy ankles. So perfume in the daytime while I'm home is something that I like to do, even if I'm not going out. So this is where I did a little bit of journaling. I didn't do, I didn't realize the camera was off centered, but it's just basically ripping pieces of paper and kind of creating a collage that speaks to what my vision is. It's just pictures of my daughter and writing about the day. If you're not, if you're new to journaling or don't know how to memory plan slash journal, you print the pictures of something significant for the day. And then you write about it. I just wrote that this was her first dance. She was very excited. I was excited. We ended the night at Chipotle, which is her, her favorite. And where her dress was from, where her shoes was from, the date, things like that. So when I look back on it, I know exactly what happened this day. The next page is where I was starting to journal about Mother's Day and a movie, but the camera died so I didn't realize it until it was too late and here is my final journal and spread journal slash memory plan I'm going to look back on this in you know every so often I want to sit down and I go through my notebooks this is why I love planning in a notebook because there's turn in the pages it's all here a year in a notebook is like the best thing I'm totally trying to enable you to get a notebook for your planner <laughs> or your memory planner or your journal so this is my get ready with me Monday morning. Thanks for watching. And I hope that you have a really good day. I'm not just saying that just to say it. But I want you to take some time today and kind of think about what's going on in your life. And how you can make these little small changes as far as your perspective. And just know that it's okay if things don't work out. It doesn't mean the end. You know, just... Even having a backup plan is not a bad thing, you know. Your mindset is everything. And just make sure that you create the life that you want. It could be small things. It could be big things. Success has many interpretations. So what's successful to you may not be successful to someone else and vice versa. But, you know, whatever is successful to you is all that matters. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy this video, hit the like button. And I'll see you next time.